Hey there guys, I'm the Royal Gorilla and welcome to the best open world game easter eggs. The open world genre is something of a guilty pleasure of mine. Games like Just Cause 3, Fallout and Dying Light are some of my all time favourites and they're all open world. We've covered tons of easter eggs in games like this in the past so what I wanted to do was bring loads of them together in one handy video. Grand Theft Auto has had some brilliant easter eggs, but GTA 5's best doesn't appear until you reach 100% completion. At the summit of Mount Chiliad, you will be able to find GTA's greatest secret. You are not alone. Aliens have been long rumoured to be hidden in GTA games and 5 is the first to officially include them. But it doesn't end there, there are actually 3 more UFOs hidden in the game. An identical UFO can be found high above the Beam Me Up camp. Visible in the daytime, you can see that it bears the logo of FIB. The third UFO can be found high above Fort Zancudo, and has a more futuristic look. The final UFO is located just off the coast of Palato Bay. Sunken beneath the waves, it seems to have crashed there a long time ago. Ghost Recon Wildlands features a number of secret buttons hidden around the game's open world. There are four of these buttons in total, and when pressed, each of them will have a different surprise for the player. The first button will cause a fireworks show above the game's super dam. Another will launch missiles directly at the player. The third will just cause a giant explosion. Fuck, you're a fucking genius. And the final will make whatever the hell this is happen. Fucking genius, man. I think you suck. Along with being my favourite game, Just Cause 3 also has some of my favourite easter eggs. Just like the rubber duck easter egg, which can be found at these coordinates on the map. What you'll be looking for in this location are two giant rubber ducks. Now once you find them, you'll want to use your grappling hook to get them into the water. From there, you can just climb on board and captain them across the waves. It's basically just a reskin jet ski, but I think I do prefer it this way. The Witcher Freeze monsters can at times be scary enough so it definitely didn't need weeping angels on top of that to spook me out. So this horrifying easter egg can be found in Velen, and in particular this area of the map. So as you walk into the cemetery here, you'll be able to see two statues of angels at the entrance. Now when you walk in is when the spooky shit starts to happen. If you turn around and head straight back out, you will see that the two statues have moved. And from now on, whenever you turn your back on these statues, they will always turn to face you. I'm gonna just move on now. I'm hoping that they won't follow me. Now Homefront 2 may not have exactly got the most glowing reviews on launch, but one thing that the game has going for it is possibly the greatest easter egg I've ever covered on this channel, and quite possibly my favourite easter egg of all time. So in order to find this easter egg, you'll need to play quite a way through the game unfortunately, which is a challenge in its own right. Once you make your way into the Old Town Red Zone, proceed with the story missions until you have access to the restricted zone. Once here you'll need to make your way into the main safe house area. Now once you're inside this building, if you follow the route I'm taking and head to the top of the stairs and then head to the far room, you'll find a very interesting arcade cabinet. Interacting with this arcade cabinet will allow you to play Time Splitters 2. In this easter egg you'll actually get to play the entire first two levels of the game, and even includes the game's cutscenes and original menus. These two levels are exactly as I remember them. Siberia puts you on a frozen dam as you sneak your way into the facility using silent weapons and stealth to retrieve a time crystal. 
Chicago is your classic gangster movie. Tommy guns and fedoras await you in this 1930s inspired city as you try to take out a crime lord and retrieve his time crystal. Oh, and did I mention zombies? Yeah, they make a return to screw you up as you try to make it to the exit portal. It's time splitters exactly as I remember it. So there you have it guys, that was our first look at some of the best open world game easter eggs. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did I would really appreciate a like, comment and of course subscribe. Oh and follow me on Twitter. I've been the Royal Gorilla, over and out. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer, no ordinary let's player, no bad easter eggs much better, da 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 da. His name is Luke aka the Royal Gorilla, even bigger than the giant Godzilla, follow him in every game he goes. Da da da